Hello everybody. I just love my husband because of the wisdom that just oozes out of him. Thank you, baby. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, honey. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I, I tell you, is there a question you can't answer? By, by the, the grace Holy... of God Amen. and by the Holy Word of God, mm -hmm. there is an uh, answer to all questions. Okay. Yes. Um, honey, you know, we live in a, a society where we, we contribute a lot. I don't know whether it's everywhere, but at least here in Kenya, in Africa, mm -hmm. people contribute towards funerals, especially. Yeah. So there's always, you know, contribute towards giving a loved one a decent send off. Yeah. Can you please explain to us? Because sometimes people go on for months mm -hmm. collecting money yeah. to, towards a funeral. What, what is the scripture? First, Jesus. Jesus Jesus was very categorical about funerals mm. and death. In fact, at some point, he almost sounded rude. Mm. And somebody said, oh, can I go and bury the dead first? Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. In other words, he wasn't disrespecting the dead. Because he's also the same one who said that the woman who poured oil on his head and wiped his feet, that every place where the gospel shall be preached, she will be remembered. Uh -huh. There was a memorial. So Jesus said memorials are good. Now, a decent send-off is something you can afford. The trouble today is that people want to show off. Mm -hmm. They want the funeral to be the talk of town, just like mm -hmm. weddings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they had the greatest wedding and all that. So you end up in debt mm -hmm. when you're burying the dead. Get the most affordable coffin and then don't let the body stay in the mortuary for too long. Yeah. And don't go feeding people. Eat in your homes. Because that's another problem with certain communities yeah. where people eat so much in funerals and then they leave the family in poverty. Yeah. So, in fact, if you remember during COVID, funerals were made very simple. Yeah. Within one day, the body's buried yeah. and not so many people attended. Yeah. I don't think uh, there was any issue with cultural practices. Yeah. People practiced the simplest funerals and they worked. Yeah. So, don't show off. You are buried the dead. Yeah. You need to Pay attention to the living. Okay. Get rid of that body as quickly as possible. That's, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. so the body is what you you get rid of. Yes. Now the getting rid of, honey. Uh -huh. Um, what if you you know we should bury because Jesus says that when he comes back the dead in Christ will resurrect and their graves will open. Yes. What does cremation have? There's no problem with cremation <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, if somebody thinks that cremation is sinful, then how about those people who died in fires yeah. and were burnt to ashes? Will they go to hell? Because, they, <laughs> because the, their bodies were burnt. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself said the, the graves would open up. The sea gave up uh -huh. its death. The air gave up its death. Yes. So everything that has taken the body of the dead will give it up. So there's, no, there's nothing unscriptural about cremation. Mm -hmm. So choose which method works for you. If you find it cultural policy, then don't do it. Yeah. But don't go condemning somebody because they cremated. It's a choice, really. Wow, thank you. The scriptures just liberate. Thank you so much, honey. We love you. I love you. Love you all. all bye. Right, bye, -bye.